lows. Let's discuss what's ahead for investors. Joining us today, Victoria Green, G Squared Private Wealth Founding Partner and a CNBC contributor. Victoria, great to see you. You know, the, the thinking among some has been, ah, this rally is not beholden to rate cuts, but now some are arguing we're going to find out. <laughs> well, I think the job market Friday is going to be a huge number and definitely market moving because today's jolts was, was in line. You know, the quit rate shows people are a little bit less, uh, you know, confident they can find a new job. Labor market softness could way out sticky inflation and we could still see that three cuts. This is one of the first times that the market's actually pricing in less cuts than the Fed. You know, we came into this year with 150 basis points of cuts. Now we're at about 65 on average versus 75 bips on the dot plot. And we'll have to see what the Fed does. I am worried about commodities, though, and that picking up. That's why we're a little overweight in the energy sectors, industrial, some of those cyclicals, because right now commodity creeping up could make inflation even stickier. Um, but there is hope. You know, Powell alluded to it Friday. That's why markets kind of liked it, that if we see in, in labor market softness, it could kind of outweigh some of the stickiness in, in the PCE side, which, to be frank, is driven a lot by housing currently. The goods have been deflationary for a long time. So I think maybe small caps, some of the more rate sensitive, you know, it's very interesting to see utilities up today because they're typically a little more rate sensitive, maybe a flight to quality there. Um, and then we could see value kind of have its time to shine like we saw in March. Yeah, uh, coming off of what, one of the best months uh, for growth over value in a long time. I know some of your picks are in energy, are in industrials, and then so you got some old tech uh, companies named in there as well. I, this doesn't feel like a, a, a playbook that is counting on three cuts this year. It's not. I think you need to hedge your bets a little bit. The data is sticky. If, it, if commodities keep running, it's going to put some upward pressure on inflation. I think the only thing that saves it is bad news on Friday. Bad news being good news, meaning, hey, we can pressure the Fed with labor softness and wanting to avoid pushing the economy into a landing of some sort. Currently, we're on the whole no landing situation. But yeah, some of the old school tech, IBM, Cisco, you know, some of those guys, they pay great dividends. They're not trading at insane multiples. They've got very strong cash flows, very good revenue growth, you know, and they haven't necessarily seen the market love. Even Dell has come out of the woodworks as a great performer. So as you're looking across the marketplace, value doesn't just mean energy, industrials and financials. Those are great core positions to have. You can still find some value in some of the old school tech that has reinvented themselves. Don't forget, IBM was the OG, the original gangster of AI with Watson. They know what they're doing there in the hybrid cloud space. Are you adding to exposure in this environment or, or trimming or just holding, Victoria? Because it, it feels like we are at an interesting crossroads with, with rates starting to move. Sure, absolutely. I actually still like equities over bonds. I feel like the upside there, the revenue growth, there are some fundamentals beyond just the Fed driving stocks and potentially driving this market higher. I see us in the early to mid innings of this bull market. I will mention it has been a very long time since we've had a pullback. I was looking through statistics. I don't think we've had a 2% down day in over 265, 270 trading days. You know, we're, we're on track right now, possibly today, to have the first time in a long time. Our pullback in 2024 has been 2% in total. And we have so many people ready to buy this dip, so much cash on the sidelines. I see equities as a good place to be adding it.